Hey everybody, it's Mike with Monkey Fab, and today I want to talk about these these solder, these shrink wrap solder glue waterproof connector dills. It's called waterproof solder seal heat shrink butt connectors that I sell on my website. Um, you guys probably saw these on Facebook, and every once in a while I'll get somebody that'll be like, those suck, and mo most people are pretty happy with them. Um, but I, I usually engage that person and be like, what's, what's up? What's, what's the deal, dude? And they'll be like, I yanked on it and it just popped right off, which is always frustrating. For me, those plastic covered crimp connectors never stay together. And it's just, I, I won't even use them. So um, I, what I did before this is I used to, you know, do the heat shrink and the solder and slide it over. It's very time consuming. These are pretty quick, very happy with these guys. So the problem that I usually see is uh, like on the Facebook ad, they just kind of stick it together and they put it over top of there and the wires are kind of, they just do this. And uh, that's probably not the strongest way to do it. I'm going to show you what I think is the strongest way and, uh, and we'll check it out. We'll, once we get it put together, we'll try to rip it apart and we'll see about how much force I'll try to like guesstimate. I don't really have any scientific way of, of showing you guys what it is, but I will, uh, you know, kind of yank it apart and then tell you, hey, I do have a well calibrated arm. I know how much foot pounds <laughs> I'm putting on something. So uh, these are the red ones. So they come in four different sizes. Those sizes are, I have it right here on my phone ready for you. White is 26 gauge to 24 gauge. So that's like your real thin stuff, like the uh, ECU wires, uh, maybe some of the sensor wires. The uh, red is your 22 to 18 gauge. And that's a lot of what I use for like the sensor wires if you're doing like you know, oil pressure, oil temperature, water temp, those kind of gauges seem to be that this red color. The blue is the other one. It's like 16 and 14 gauge, which is, you know, what you deal with most of the times when you're wiring and stuff on the car, uh, relays and stuff like that. And then the yellow is 12 and 10 gauge. Um, what most companies on like Facebook will do is they'll just package these like 25, 25, 25, 25, and then you use all the red and the blue, and then you're screwed and you have to spend all that, well, it's not really that much money. They're actually pretty cheap, but you have to spend money to get you know another pack of you know stuff that you're only gonna use half of. So what I do is I just break it down into the sizes and let you be choose you know what you need because you know what you like and you know what you need. And uh, yeah, you don't need people putting it together for you. You can figure it out. So on these guys right here, it is just shrink wrap with a nugget of solder in the middle and uh, then some glue. And what we're gonna do is I have this crappy eBay wire kit that I've had for a decade. This, this stuff is all pretty crappy. Um, we're just gonna use some of this 18 gauge wire right here. If you guys don't have these like strippers then you should probably figure out where to get them from. Um, I've had these for decades. I think I bought them from Radio Shack actually back in like 2000. Uh, but they're awesome and it makes stripping wire really easy. So um, I don't go shallow. I actually get in there and like grab a chunk. So it's like this. And then as I pull it off, I give it a twist, which kind of rips it all, wraps it all around itself. And uh, we'll do the same over here. And just give it a twist as it pulls, as it pulls off. And bam. And then what you want to remember is to put the the uh, shrink wrap guy onto your wire before you start, you know, getting it all tucked up and put together. On the Facebook video, what I see is just frayed wire kind of shoved together and they put this over. Uh, that's crappy. A good way is kind of go halfway and twist it around each other. What I like to do for just like a little bit of extra strength is I bend it back on itself and back on itself like this, and then I wrap it both sides. So I have like, almost like a knot, it's kind of wrapped around itself, and then we just slide this guy back over top of it. My, I need my glasses. So I got the uh, little, you see the nugget of solder and it's kind of centered in there. That's good. That's what you want. Then just grab your heat gun and we're just going to hit it until the, uh, the solder. You see the solder kind of 
melt off into there. And I kind of like to rotate this. I, mean, I can't do that right now as I'm kind of holding it for the camera. And I don't want to melt my microphone. Okay, so the glue is melted and the solder is melted as well. And what you don't want to do is yank on it because the solder's not set. So what you want to do is let this guy here, it's hot. It needs to cool down to like room temperature. So we're just gonna set it down, let it cool. Just let it cool, man. You can use a, a Bic lighter. And I'm just gonna do the same thing with the lighter real quick so you guys can see that. And with the lighter, what I like to do is just kind of try to keep it moving. Don't kind of hang out one spot too long. You can't actually kind of burn it. see like that it's all it's all black and sooty same thing it's hot just let it sit down all right so this is the first one we did and what we'll do is we'll just throw it in the vise and like how how good do you expect it to be I don't know so So it's in the vise. I'm just going to pull it apart. <clears throat> so that was probably probably about 20 pounds, I'm guessing. Felt like about 20 pound dumbbell curl. And it did it did rip apart at the splice. But if you got 20 pounds dangling off this thing, then you know maybe. Maybe you gotta reevaluate how you have things situated in the first place, right? So this is the kind of the burnt one and you can just kind of wipe it, most of that off. It'll still look kind of charred, but uh, yeah. Anyway, same thing, we'll throw it in here. See how it does. So that was actually more, maybe, maybe like 35 pounds. But uh, yeah, it still ripped at the, uh, the joint. But um, that should be pretty good. I mean, if, you're, if you have 20, 20, 10 pounds, if you have any kind of weight dangling by your wires, then you're probably doing something wrong. So the idea is, is let the solder set up. Make sure you got them wrapped together, put it in there, do it, make sure that the solder actually you know, uh, liquefies and, and, and seeps into the, the wires and then let it cool before you start yanking on stuff and you'll be good to go. So thanks for dropping by, checking out the video. Uh, if you want these, it's in the link below. And uh, until next time, this is Mike MonkeyFab signing out.